At 3 a.m. on the 28th of October 1940, Italian ambassador to Greece, Emmanuel Grazzi, delivers an ultimatum from Benito Mussolini to Greek Prime Minister Ioannis Metaxas. Mussolini demands that the Italian army gain free passage through Greece to occupy strategic locations as part of their war effort. Metaxas is now faced with two choices, both of which will result in the deaths of many of his own people. Surrender or war? In the same laconic tradition as the Spartans before him, Metaxas's answer, given in the diplomatic language of the day, French, was simple. Then it is war, which was then translated to a simple ohi, no. Within hours, Italian troops would pour over the border, but so too did Greeks pour into the streets, shouting ohi in defiance. Thus, ohi day was born. The Italians would meet unexpectedly strong resistance, which would last for some six months. Greece delaying the Italian advance so much that it drew the attention of Hitler. Enraged by Italy's lack of progress, Hitler would ultimately mobilize his forces to take Greece. But the Greek resistance, hopelessly outnumbered, courageously continued. The Germans would commit brutal atrocities, including the murder of entire villages, the torturing and starving of those left alive in their pursuit of information, and other unspeakable acts. The result, though, far from breaking the Greek spirit, was further defiance. When the Nazis finally climbed the Acropolis and ordered that the Greek flag be taken down to be replaced with the Nazi swastika, the Evzon on duty, Kostadinos Koukidis, defiantly wrapped himself in the Greek flag and jumped off the rock to his death. A month later, Manolis Glezos, a future Greek politician, and his friend Apostolos Santas would climb the Acropolis and steal the Nazi flag inspiring the nation to continue its defiance against the brutal occupiers. Across the nation, Greeks would fight with incredible courage, but also with incredible cheek. As Germans took as dive-bombed Greek targets, Greeks stubbornly stood their ground, shooting back at aircraft with whatever meager firearms they had available. They would ambush paratroopers even before their feet hit Greek soil, while the Cretans would get away with kidnapping a German general. This defiance and patriotism inspired the praise of world leaders. Adolf Hitler said, For the sake of historical truth, I must verify that only the Greeks, of all the adversaries who confronted us, fought with bold courage and highest disregard of death. Winston Churchill The word heroism, I am afraid, does not render the least of those acts of self-sacrifice of the Greeks, which were the defining factor in the victorious outcome of the common struggle of the nations during World War II for the human freedom and dignity. If it were not for the bravery of the Greeks and their courage, the outcome of World War II would be undetermined. Until now, we used to say that the Greeks fight like heroes. Now we shall say the heroes fight like Greeks. Joseph Stalin. I am sorry because I'm getting old and I shall not live to thank the Greek people whose resistance decided World War II. Charles de Gaulle. I am unable to give the proper breadth of gratitude I feel for the heroic resistance of the people and the leaders of Greece. Georgi Konstadinovich Zurov, Marshal of the Soviet Army. If the Russian people manage to raise resistance at the doors of Moscow, to halt and reverse the German torrent, they owe it to the Greek people, who delayed the German divisions during the time they could bring us to our knees. The troops of Australia and New Zealand, the Anzacs, would be on hand to assist the Greeks. What you're about to hear are some of the lesser known stories of those Anzacs. Their connection to Greece and their connection to the people who in many cases helped save them. So while the world knows well the stories of Pearl Harbor, D-Day, Iwo Jima, the Battle of Britain and Midway, let's not forget the crucial contribution of Greece in helping to decide the greatest military conflict the world has seen, all embodied in a simple defiant word, or here.